Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead, if I just move my microphone back there a little bit. So when we last left off, we were having a good time with our son. You know, a bit of quality father and son time. Um, so I think in this episode, we're going to continue doing just that. Now, we are rapidly approaching the end of the game. Uh, or at least, Howdy. in a sense... So, let's go see. What is the time in the game? Oh, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Abigail, what are you doing still vertical? God damn it. Now. Oh, she's about to get horizontal. So, she comes to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning. It's kind of mad when you think about it. I mean, you know, to be fair, um, I kind of do the same thing myself on a non-work day. However... You know, she's not staying up playing video games and editing videos, so she's just cooking stew. Or should I say burning stew, if we uh, listen to John's gribblings. Anyway, let's continue with our boy. The last enemy that shall be destroyed. Interesting title. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, <laughs> hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? <laughs> well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but... I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, this is bad. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Um, this is bad. So, apparently we have soldiers appearing at our camp. Um... That wasn't part of the deal that we had with the government, was it? No, sir. That was not part of the deal we had at all. But... Hell, when's the government ever played by the rules? So, it looks like Uncle Sam's come knocking to the farm. And we have to fight for our very survival. Well, nothing out of the ordinary there. Hey, John. But we ain't gonna go into the night. Not without giving them some hell first. Anyway. Alright, this isn't too bad. Put some more rounds in that thing. This rifle, though. Oof, this rifle. Kind of sad these soldiers have also been duped into throwing their lives away. 
Now, unfortunately, we can't change outfits for this final mission because I suppose that would give you uh, a bit of an unfair advantage or something. I don't know. It's a bit weird, but whatever. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm good, Uncle. What are we going to do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Well, this kind of sucks. Jack? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. I'm not happy with you being out here, I'll be honest, Jack. Let's see if we can't take a couple of them out. I guess we can. Ain't gonna let that happen. Yeah, we'll figure Put something out. On. Defend your Hold house on. from the army. Gee. Oh. Uncle. Oh. That. That's bad. You know, say what you want about him. He went out defending everyone. Yeah, we know that. Let's see what we can do to try and thin these guys out. Alright, Jack, stay vertical, friend. Oh god, they're coming from behind as well. That's not great. That is not fantastic at all. You're done. Right, let's start... Uh, is it snake oil that we want? Yeah, snake oil. And then let's get a better weapon. Something a little bit better for close range. Alright, I see you there, you son of a bitch. So when we see those government types next, we'll be digging some graves for them, that's for sure. I mean, I guess, I guess they didn't exactly seem trustworthy, did they? Shit. Hang in there, Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, he was useless and he was a bum. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! But he came out in the end. Yeah, that kind of really sucks how it went down, but unfortunately, no time for tears. Oh god. Here we go again, alright. Let's see what we can do here. Can't thin the herd just a little bit. Good thing we have a huge magazine in this gun. No running on my lawn, son. Uh, okay, well, maybe we're shooting blanks. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get some health back. We're almost out of ammo already. Dude, horse, get the fuck out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to shoot you. Alright, you're done. He's finished. Might need to switch up to a different weapon. Ah, I was going to say, who's still alive? You. You know what? Oh, that was a mistake. If we could actually get the lock-on system to work. There we go. Oof. How's it going? We need a... Yeah. Oh, man. We need a different weapon. Oh, there's more. Of course there's more. this was over! Yeah, well, they lied, John. Unfortunately, you're going to have to learn that 
that's kind of what governments do. They take and they take and they give very kind of little back. But unfortunately, that's the way the system works. You just got caught up in a very shitty situation. Having said that, John wasn't exactly a good man back in the day. I mean, he wasn't as evil as some of the people out in the Old West, that's for sure. But he wasn't exactly a good man. Oh dear. Oh god, hello. That's for uncle. Right in the back of your dome, son. Can we not take cover here? I hope you got money for a funeral. All right, you're covered. Well, I don't think they've got money for a funeral because Uncle Sam will be uh, picking up that tab and I'm sure they'll screw their way out of it if they can. Oh, I don't think so. Stay away from the grain. No raiding the grain farm. Oh, you shoot my son. Son of a bitch. We are really burning through that ammo now. Oh, no running. Yeah, how did you get your purple heart? You were tricked. It's fighting for the army, huh? For one man's betrayal. Yeah, it doesn't sound that great, does it? on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. <laughs> Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get. Um... Um, John, uh, Jack is still in the barn, but it's his fucked up model from the bear attack. This is how it's going to be, John. So we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, you, you. And that is Red Dead 2. Or Red Dead 1, I should say. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! So we're going back to the farm. Now, that ending actually hit me pretty hard when uh, I first played it and first completed this game. Because... I... I don't think I'd ever played a game up until this point where the main character that you play as dies like that at the end. 
after striving to become, you know, change his life around. And I think it was more impactful as well because they actually let you, you know, they let you have a bit of a life with your family and get comfortable with everything before they Why rip it stopping? all away. But, in a somewhat shocking kind of turn of events at the time, the game doesn't end with the death of John Marston. No, because four years later, when you come back to bury your mum in 1914, you carry on as Jack. He's a little bit older now, a little bit angry, and he's out for a little bit of revenge because there is one hidden mission. Um, and that is a mission about getting your revenge for your dad. And also, we can spend this time um, trying to finish any quests and things like that. We can round up and tie off all the loose edges and uh, loose strings. Uh, we can get the stranger missions. And in fact, there's one stranger mission that only appears um, once you've reached the end like this. Now, one thing I thought was quite interesting actually up by those graves, which I didn't notice at the time. There's no grave for uncle, uh, which I thought was interesting. Or is there? Oh wait, there is a grave for uncle. I was going to say. So, let's have a look. Now, you have all the same gear that um, you, you've played through the rest of the game with. You've got all the same stats. So, there's John Marston. 1873 to 1911. So, there is Uncle's Grave there as well. That's all right. I missed that. Uncle. <laughs> it's just called... Um, <laughs> it's just called Uncle. Died 1911. Impossible to forget. Yeah, nobody knew when he was born. Then, of course, Abigail. So Jack is a man that's lost everything. But he has gained a lot of things. He's gained a massive satchel full of goodies. And we're going to want to grab our dad's horse, Midnight. Who, yeah, sure... A little bit older now, but still a fine, mighty steed, and seems to be um, worthy of succeeding the Marston line. So, or at least being the noble seed for the successor to the Marston line. So, the first time we I was thrown into this, when I originally completed the game, 
I didn't know anything about like a secret mission or, you know, anything really. I just thought this was a cool way that the game let you uh, explore, you know, and tie off the loose ends, as we said before. But no. But no, there is more to do. So anyway, we will be covering that uh, in the next video, guys. And um, with that, with the actual completion of the main story of the game, uh, we have essentially... The outfits to find, which I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm definitely going to be doing the outfits. Oh, you can actually track these. That's interesting. So if I click track, how does that work on the map? I didn't even realize you could. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. So it's not the scraps that are bothering me. I mean, that's kind of fairly simple to get hold of it's the uh it's having to do the mini games especially like make a profit playing blackjack Ugh. do i have to um finding the scraps will be simple i mean a horse breaking job in chaparosa will be easy five finger fillet i haven't actually tried that one purchase it yeah complete uh, out yeah, yeah. Complete all US gang hideouts in a single 24 hour period. Um, yeah, that's kind of sucky, that one, to be honest. It's not actually, it's not super difficult because it's all the US hideouts. So, um, we'll see. And 100% game completion. What is our game completion? We're at 90%. Um, which, okay. 90%. Now, mission's complete, 57. I'm trying to think. So, we've got a couple of places in New Austin to still find. And one place, okay, back in Mexico to find. And then that's all of that. Now, strangers met 16. I believe there's 19 total. Um... Okay, I mean, I guess I could do some of this stuff anyway. Uh, the, like I said, the strangers we need to do. Are you going to tell us? Right, yeah, these are all the ones we have done. Now, I know you. That's, um, I think that's the only one that we have to actually complete before uh, we take over as Jack. Because the I know you man, the devil, the angel, God, whoever it is, uh, disappears as soon as we um, are finished with John because he has nothing to do with Jack. But everybody else, everybody else we can still do. So I've just got to run around and find the last few, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. So anyway, I'm going to leave this part here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.